Hey, how are you doing, boys and girls? Welcome to the video. So today on Solar DMZ, today we've got a, a more of a guide again for you today, and we're going to be going over how to farm Koshi in terms of getting the weapon case easy, killing the sniper and the rhino very easily and effortlessly, not really engaging in that much PVE or PvP. None of them really. Like you will have to fight a few, but to be honest, it's not going to be absolutely hectic. And so it's going to make doing this pretty easy. You can also get out nice and easy. We're going to show you how to easily get out. That was one of the questions I got left with a lot on the previous guide was how do I actually get out though? Because I didn't cover that before. I just wanted to cover how to kill the sniper. Well, this one is like how to kill him, how to kill the rhino, how to get out, how to farm the weapon case if you also need to unlock the um, rewards for the weapon case. So we've got a bit of everything. So there's going to be a bit of prep work you need to do to make this really easy. Now, a lot of you most probably have been farming your money. You should have some money in your wallet. I would advise bringing in when it comes to, by the way, be careful of this PvP spot on me. That's what I'm just looking for. Um, because we're coming over to this gas station to get the first one, which is the scuba gas mask, which is here. You want to make sure you grab one of these. These are absolutely essential as a solo player. I think they're like the best mask to grab and they help you breathe underwater for a very, very long time where you can escape platoons, squads, swim away without getting any harm. And it also helps you with your activities. Now, the things you want to bring in with you is a shotgun of your choice. Can be a KV broadside, um, as I like to call it, the Broson. You know, any of them. You can bring in anything. Shotguns are really good in Koshi, so make sure you bring that. Now, I'm going to judge and presume that you haven't really been into Koshi. You haven't got yourself an L2 access card. Okay, I've got one with me, so I don't need to do this because I've already got one. But for yourself, you do need to have an L2 card. Now, if you haven't got one, it's completely fine. The only thing you need to do is when you, before you come and spawn in is bring 50k with you. All right. 50k will make it so you can buy the L2 card at the buy station in Koshi, which we're going to be stopping off at anyway. I'll show you a few places you can check for an L2 card when you're in Koshi. But if you haven't got one, the easiest way, and without having to like look and rely on RNG and finding something, is just bring 50k in with you. All right, so make sure you bring 50k in you. I'm actually going to stop off at the bank here because I've just realized I haven't got enough money to buy the second thing we need to get, which is the bomb drones. So if you have needing money in Almarja, just stop off at these banks. There's about five of them in Almarja. And just loot around, see if there's anything like gold skulls, yep, gold skulls or gold bars, money. That way you can then purchase all you need, right? Now, I would advise buying at least two bomb drones. And that's what we're going to be going to next is just going to go around the buy stations until we find one which is selling the bomb drones. Now, each buy station, oh my days, another gold skull. That is some streamer loot right here for us. But yeah, you'll notice that. Each buy station sells free of whatever kill streak it's selling. If you can afford it, buy all free, right? So you don't have any muck ups. You got like a tester one if you muck this up. But with the way I show you how to do this now, you shouldn't even muck this up. It should be pretty fine on how you uh, get the bomb drone to the bosses. All right. So at least buy two. So if you are going in fully, most probably want to bring in maybe about 70 or 80k if you don't want to do too much farming in El Mazar, you just want to grab or grab the bomb drones quickly and get you know get to Koshi so I'm doing it as in I'm gonna try and just you know get it all while we're here so I'm gonna move on now to the next uh, or to the buy station and see if we can find one the buy station we're coming up to is a PvP contested death spawn as I like to call it up ahead here so I'm gonna be wary that there could be someone about just in case. Yeah, there is someone here. Someone in the uh, L, uh, LTV here. Uh, now, see if they... He's beeping. He's just all right. Let's just see if he's going to come this way to us. No, he's not. Fine. If he was, I would have just got out and then fought them at the building here. Right, so we're going to go in here and um, grab ourselves... Hopefully a bomb drone. Now, in terms of gear, to be honest, you don't even need a free plate. 
it's you're going to be not really getting into too many fights with AI and players that you don't need full, full, full protection. To be honest, you could just go to a. Um, oh, okay, you got positions. Okay, we'll go to the next one then. You could just have a level two comms vest. And I think comms vest level two or three would be perfect for this too. I'm just running stealth because that's what I quite normally like to run, but. A comms vest could help you because it can give you heads up when you go into each buy station to check for um, for the bomb state uh, for the bomb drone. Give you a heads up if anyone's around, and also gives you a heads up if there is someone coming towards your area in the Koshi. So if you want to feel a little bit more safer when you're doing this, the comms vest could be the best choice. Now let's see if I got anything in here. But you can get the comms vest, the two plate comms vest from the active combat zones around in El Marzo. So you could even just farm for a two vest if you wanted to. You're not going to need it too much when, you, when we get into Koshi. Like, you're not going to be fighting that much AI. This is how good this technique is going to be for you. Is it's really, it really does help. Right, what we got here then? Oh, there we go. So we got one bundle. I only managed to buy one. Mm, I need to look, find some more money then. So I wouldn't mind buying at least two so we can do this. The main one you want to kill is the sniper, but... Um... Oh! I've got the friggin' skulls. I've hooked them up, didn't I? That's fine. We're, we're, we got this already. That's fine. Good times. Right. There we go. So we've got our skulls. We can now buy our two bomb drones here. So we've got now... Oh, yeah, I am going to buy them all, yeah. We've got three bomb drones, just in case. We've got our L2 keycard, or 50k in cash if you need that, right, for buying it. And we have um, the scuba mask. So, yeah, we've got everything here. And that's all we need. This is pretty much all we need. Uh, make sure you do, like you said, have a KV broadside on you or a, um, a Brosun or something along those lines. It's really going to help with any AI in the game, in Koshi. And this is basically the low date we need, okay? Um, what I'm going to do now is I will just skip ahead and once we get to the actual complex, that is basically back where we got that scuba mask. That's where we're going to head back to and we're going to enter in the complex up right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead and uh, do that. So we'll see when we get to the actual complex. Okay, so we're now made it here. You can see uh, where we are on the map. Once you're here, just make sure there's no one camping around here. This is also another reason why the comms vest can be better than the stealth vest. It can just give you a heads up if someone's about. We're holding and we're going to pop into the old Koshi. Now, you you definitely want to pop in from this way because the reason for it is, is one, it's less bots. Two, it's a lot faster to get to the area we need to be. And we're going to be basically bypassing the um chemical plant which is basically the like the the, the dark day area which you need the night vision you don't need to go there at all to kill the sniper and the rider and also extract this is why we want to go there so let's do that now so we're now loading in and we're basically going to be looking for two keys we have to find these two keys and these two keys are 100 percent spawned in in these areas he it's just, they, it's, they are scattered about um in the area sometimes so you do have to have a little look around but this is why we got the scuba mask because this is all underwater all right so um yeah I, i'm gonna show you a few places where you can normally find it and if you get into a pattern you should be able to find it pretty fast okay so let's get us going So you don't want to be looting anything. You want to be spending as less time in here as possible. So normally when I come in, I go first to my right and I look around. You want to be looking for a blue glow and it will stand out. And I can see it already. It's here like, on the bed here. This is one of the places it can be. It can be at the back here somewhere. It can also be go along here a little bit more. It can sometimes spawn along here. There's a few places it can spawn, but just have a look, a look about and then follow the red arrows. You can see I'm following the red arrows here, red arrow here. Have a look around this whole area for the first key. And then we want to keep going. There's a red arrow just pointing where we need to go. Now, before you pop in here, this is how the key looks like. And that's the barracks exit A key. All right. A is the A key we've got. So now moving on. 
Right, let's take out the bots here. There's like one or two bots here. This is where the doof doof comes in handy. Alright. Looks like there's no more. Okay. Now we want to get into this little cross here, this kind of thing. Now there is a we can see here the blue the, or the green laser. I haven't got any explosives. I'm using throwing ice. It's just like a kind of habit I always seem to like bring it with me. Ideally you want to bring some Simtex or um you can bring mines if you want to or C4. But if you go over here, if you haven't got any explosives like me, just go to here, disarm the trap, and pick that up. And you you can pick up your knives in a minute, so I'm just gonna chuck this on it. Back away, blow it up, pick up my knives again. And we're good to go anyway. This is where the second key is. Again, you want to look in all the places. Now, I kind of skip and go all the way over here as my kind of first point of looking because I normally find it a lot of times around here, either around this area. Or if you go and swim over here, sometimes around this area, it's not going to do it now. It's going to be like absolute sod floor. could be the last place, but we looked in here. We now we move along. We go into the crack in the hall. This is the next place I like to look. Have a look along here. There it is. It's here. And then we just grab this. That's the two keys we need. Like I said, you can go through this little crack in the wall here next. I just want to look in here. Just look in here. You also want to look in here. It can be behind the door here. Um, and I have also seen it in the other sections, which are in here. So you want to make sure you look everywhere. Just look for that blue grow. It is guaranteed to spawn here. You will get the two keys. So we've got these. We don't need to disarm this now because we've just we've already done it. So it's all good. Follow the arrow downwards. Once you hit down here, you want to take your immediate right. And then you just follow the door straight. And then you do your right again. And then you basically um, do your right again. And keep going straight. Open the door. I like to check these these drawers. If you do see these drawers. Um, because you can sometimes get an L2 card in them. So any of those type of drawers, you can get them from there. Right. We're in the place we want to be. Now we just put the keys in. You can see our keys have disappeared. We open this area up, which is perfect. Moving along. Like I said, I'm avoiding all this area. Don't want to take as lot. I really don't want to take too much time. I want to just, you know, just get to the area I need to get to without spending that much time now if you haven't got your l2 key card yet and you want to quickly to see if you can have some ch chance of getting it just check around here and check these drawers again these drawers in here you can sometimes find them all right what's that, that was great. i thought it was a key check in here you can also find the likes of all the notes like certain type of notes which can be handy for opening up the Secret buys. Check along here. Move along. Okay, if you haven't got the if you haven't got it yet and you need to spend your 50k, the buy station is where it says mark the shop right here. Okay, you just go along here. And it's just right here. You just go to this buy station. Go to um gear. And you can buy it for 50k, alright? Now, someone said to someone, I saw something in, in the chat, in my chat, about getting a liquor and then putting it in the dead drop in. I don't know about this, this is something I'm testing here, by the way, it's a full test. So I just sent that, and he says... What's he saying? Sell. He said shopkeeper's code. Right. Code for a door between the chemical plant and the alpha cluster. One six three. No idea. If anyone knows what that, what he meant by you can get yourself a L2 key by getting this code, let me know in the picture below. But for now, 
if, if, it is, if that is a thing, I'll pin it. If someone um, puts that in a pinned comment, I'll pin it. So check the pinned comment. If there's a pinned comment, it might give you the information on how to get an LC key even easier. But if not, bring in your 50k and you can buy it from this gear section for 50k here, okay? So we've got our, L, we've got our L2 key card now. We're all good to go. What you want to now do is instead of going this way now, we're going to bypass all that. All right, we're going to go along here. In fact, I think there's a... You can, yeah, you can check in here if it just winds. Check along here too. You might be able to find stuff in here, but we're going to keep on going for now. If you go and look on up here, and basically instead of going underneath, we're now going to go through this door. We're going to go through the top door. All right. And you can see here, it says L2 Restricted Zone. This is where we want to go. If you unlock this, use our card. This actually makes a new extract too. And we're going to go along here. We're going to keep going along. Let's just take out all the AI here. It's handy to take these out because we're going to have to take them out anyway in a minute when we come back. Ultra One, be advised. Ultra One, activity has increased in the area. Keep your eyes open. So I'm just going to take these out quickly. Nearly died there. Jesus. Jesus. Right. Grab this. And where he opened up, I, mean, I thought, oh my days, all the bots are all coming in. So this is where we gotta basically go. So is there more coming this way actually? No, okay. Sweet. So I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna gonna set off the first bomb drone. Bomb drone deployed! Bomb drone is armed. And we're gonna go along. You can see I don't deliberately go too far from it. You're gonna go along here. I'm gonna go up here. Boom. That's the sniper down. Got the next one. You see my pathfinger, how I took him out. Move along the next one. Use the cover, like just keep below. And he won't see you. So you can see here, we went up there. To kill the sniper, we went up there, yeah? Now we're gonna go along here. Oh. Um. That all done. We've now killed whatever we want to kill. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go get the key for you. All right. So we're going to go along and we're going to quickly go and grab the key. For, for example, you want to um, also get the case. We can also do that for you. So when that opens, that's going to open this green door here. We can go up here. Got to be careful of the tripwires. There's a tripwire always coming along the house here. Just disable this. And then just go along here. What I normally like to do is I pretty much just kind of crawl along here. I disable some of these, but you can disable them if you want to. When you get to this door, there's one here. So you want to make sure you just do a, a hug the, on the left hand side and crawl along here. You can disable this one. Keep on crawling. Ultra one, be advised, threats are moving into the area. Move along. Again, we now see more light green here. So this is where we want to cr uh, crawl again.
And again, just crawl here. Keep on moving. And we're pretty much here. So we just crawl along here. Miss this last one. Go up to here. Disable this. Don't have to say, but it just helps with the tripwires here. And this is the key you want to get, the secure room key. You get yourself a cheeky sniper if you want to. Or a cheeky lucky. I'm going to grab the lucky because I always like the luckman subs. And then do whatever you want to do here. If you do get the drill bit, by the way, from the alpha cluster area, that's the safe you can drill. That actually gets you um, a stealth vest, comms vest, and a med vest from that, which is pretty cool. But we're going to go in here, open this up. Boom. And I'm going to quickly get rid of this because we get ourselves that. Get yourself some gold skulls if I want to. I'm not really fussed about any of this, but loot whatever you want to loot. Just show you the loot here. This is the box. This if you want to do the um, the rewards, this is the Koshi Complex Weapon Case. Grab this. Now, all you want to do is just jump straight out the window you come out from. And we're going to go back to the place we came. Because we've already un Oh, there is people here. There is actually people here. So you want to crawl under here. Keep on going. Go up to the top here. Crawl under here. Excuse me, we took our time a bit. We may get challenged here, but it's because we took our time. If you do this really fast, obviously you shouldn't get challenged. Um, and obviously if you got the weapon case, you don't grab the weapon case, you're not giving your position away. But if you do, you know, this is still most probably the safest way of getting out. But we didn't, we made sure we didn't disable any of the mines. We made sure we didn't trip any of the mines. So they do have to crawl under it if they, if they want to get it themselves. There we go. This is the only place they can come from. There we go. And see, we've beat them to it. We've bypassed all the things, even when they seemed to look like they wanted to go for the sniper and the thing. We took our time to, I was trying to explain things along the way. Now, if you get this down to a T, you should do this really fast, right? I was kind of like mucking around a bit. We were searching for LT curves. We was kind of having a little muck around with that kind of code thing I, I had saw in Discord about someone talking about. If you do it nice and fast, you have your two bomb drones at, at, at play. You can quickly go and grab the uh, the key if you want to, or if you're just there to do the kill them and get out, you can just leave the case and just exit. Right? That's how you do it, though. That is by far the easiest way to kill the sniper and the rhino. It's literally no effort, and the only thing you need to do is a little bit of prep at the start. By getting yourself those bomb drones you can find like I said the bomb drones in El Maja by going to the buy stations you can do safes you can do supply crates whatever way you want to try and find them just get yourself two if you want to if you want to like experiment get yourself three buy all three of them from the one buy station you find them at because at least then you can experiment if you muck up once you can you know you can still kill them right so that is the best way and then now you can also extract, because that was one of the things, uh, I can see them on the menu screen there, that they're now here, three of them. <laughs> yeah, um, this is also how you can extract. There's a lot of things I noticed, uh, one of the comments I saw um, from my previous one was, that's all great and all that, I've killed the sniper and done all that, but how do I extract, right? Well, this is how you extract. You know, if you want to extract nice and safely, you want to maybe get the case out nice and safely, that is the best way of doing it. 
Hope this really helps you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon for some more DMZ.